Hello again class, this is Lieutenant Commander Skrupek. I am making this video to augment what we're already learning in Chapter 2. Uh, this video will be specifically on plotting latitude and longitudes. So uh, here I have a latitude and longitude. You can make believe that this is like uh, a point that we need to turn over or maybe our target that we're trying to fly to. And so we'll use this uh, latitude and longitude to plot. 31 degrees, uh, 8.5 minutes north, 095 degrees, 23.5 minutes west. Okay. All right. So, um, you know, refer to the chapters, uh, chapter two for like how to, how to measure uh, latitude and longitude in terms of like counting. You know that we go up uh, and count up with uh, latitude and then we count up going west in longitude. And here's our reference line here. We got 31 minutes north, 95, or sorry, 31 degrees north, 95 degrees west. And that's our reference lines here. So that's what we wanted to find in the first place. It just got us there. Um, so we know, we know we're in, uh, we're probably in this box. Okay, so if this, if the minutes were like higher than 30, on either of these, we know we'd have to go one more line over uh, because each one of these lines um, are 30 minutes across, okay, uh, each direction. So um, starting with latitude, you have 31 degrees, 08.5 minutes. I'll go ahead and use my plotter and line it up on um, as a straight edge, right? And it needs to be, this line needs to be parallel to lines of latitude. Um, so what I'm going to do is make sure my grommet's lined up and my 90 degree benchmark is lined up on a line of longitude and that makes my straight edge up here parallel um, with latitude. Okay. Another thing you can do too is check the number of tick marks in either side of these lines. Make sure it's the same number and that tells you that this is a parallel line. Okay. Um, so 8.5 minutes here. We're looking at... Uh, Here's the 10 minute mark. So 8.5 is right here. We'll make sure we have that lined up both sides. Okay, cool. And once we have that lined up, I'll go ahead and make my line. Okay, inside the box. And then for the second part, 95 degrees. So I'll turn it this way. And again, we'll just make sure it's parallel with those longitude lines. 23.5 degrees. So 10, 20, 21, 22, 23.5. We've got to move this over. So when I, I feel confident that this is um, this line is lined up and perpendicular. Uh, and then I can count the number of tick marks here and up here. Make sure they're the same. Make sure the one below is the same. I'm a little bit off, so I'll go ahead and make the change. Okay, and then again, double check it 23.5. So I got 20, 1, 23.5. All right, got it. Draw my line. All right, so I have my intersection. All right, and it looks like it's at this peak here 289 foot peak um, next to Love Lady. So there you go. Um, that's how you do a latitude and longitude. Refer to this video as necessary. Um, and I uh, hope you guys uh, learned what if you need to if you need to relearn this. I hope this help is helpful. And um, feel free to browse the other videos for some other uh, aspects of chapter two. Hope you're having a good day, and we'll talk uh, soon.